It is a very big week in the NBA. The trade deadline is on Thursday. It's the final week before All-Star Weekend, and we have seven games in action here in Studio J. Shaquille O'Neal with a fresh pair of shades, Candace with a fresh pair of braids, and, Ka and Jamal got cleaned up in the back. With the fade. With the See. Come on, bro. Teammates. Got your back. Teammates. That was really but good. Lauren was tight. Shout that, out to Lauren. That, that Travis Kelsey, huh? Oh, here you go. <laughs> here you go. Kelsey Travis. I mean, that's where that's what you asked for, right? No, this is the tight. That's fade. what I hear. Right everyone now, asked for Travis man, Kelsey. Fade. I asked Cut for, it out. I asked for that Nas fade. It's a fade. Our early game tonight was the Dallas Mavericks and the Brooklyn Nets. And this was the return of Kyrie Irving back to Brooklyn. Look that look by Luca. Face mask, Take headband. Off, Take it off. Kyrie's beard looking luscious. And he started off against his former team doing what he See does that best. Finish. Good. The reverse lay. Pull up. You got to step up from the bark lay. Your talent's up five. Jack, how, what did you do when you came back and played your old team? Were you oh, about I tried to, to go to work. You tried to go to work? Yeah, I mean, he tried to fight. He was out there fighting. And uh, whoever whoever guarded me in the first play, I tried to get off into foul. Him and Big Biden, that was fighting. Let him know it's going to be a long night. Kyrie from deep, Dallas up 12. How and you then guard check that, this Jamal? Out. You can't. You just got to hope you miss and deal with the the, the results. Foul, that's yeah. ridiculous. That's an one. Irving had it 21. Oh. It don't matter. Two Luka, hands, one three hand. and a half. 15, 10, and 5 at the break. Dallas was up 18. Get oh, up! This was the highlight of the game. I didn't know he had all that. He was in Uncle Drew, wasn't Kyrie Julius Irving. 22-point lead for Dallas. Luka loving it. Take off the glasses, Shaq. Let him know what? What left, Cole? His last name was Irving, so it goes with Julius. That's the only reason. That's Shaq's favorite player. Don't <laughs> okay play. with that? No. Don't play. No. Okay. Uh, Nobody disrespects the doc on my watch. I get it. Mikel Bridges single-handedly tries to bring the Nets back into this one. Ben Simmons in transition. Down 12. Right in the shooter. Dinwiddie says, let's get it closer. Stutter. And one off the glass. A six-point deficit. But in the end, too much Dallas, too much Kyrie Irving. Kyrie 36, Luka 35. Their third game as teammates with 35 plus, tying the franchise record with Mark Aguirre and Rolando Blackman. How about that? Luka Doncic, another big game, but afterwards it was all about Kyrie and some quotes. Take a listen. The man of the evening right here, Kyrie Irving in your return to Brooklyn. Game high, 36 points, man. What, what was it like for you coming back? Uh, just really focused. Um, I saw you sitting there corpus eye, you know, watching me get prepared for this game. You know, I'm super dialed in um, and just wanted this win for my teammates. And I know they wanted me to have a, a good performance here, so I'm grateful that they were right by my side. But, uh, yeah, full team effort. You were here almost four hours before tip, before any Nets player, before any Mavs player. I saw you going and greeting the ushers, the staffers in the Nets. What did the reception tonight mean for you tonight? It felt amazing, man. I, I made some uh, incredible relationships, man. I, I made a lot of friends here, a lot of brothers and sisters that I'm going to have for a lifetime, and they really welcomed me home. I'm really a New Jersey kid that got a chance to play for the New Jersey Nets, really the Brooklyn Nets, but I got to live out my dream, and that's all I could ask for. Lastly, Jason Kidd said this is what everybody wanted to see, you and Luca out there doing you got doing your thing. But what, what do you feel like the ceiling is for you guys when you guys are on the floor together? Oh, uh, man, TBD right now just because we got to get healthy, man. We're we missing our big. Shout out to D-Live, man. He just had no surgery. So we, we, we've been hitting the injury bug a little bit this season, but we don't want to make any excuses. We just want to be out there when we're fully ready 100% and be competing with the best. Sometimes it seems like the Dallas Mavericks get lost. They are eighth in the West right now, sitting at 28 and 23, but Twitter was loving this. I'm going to be watching that Kyrie alley-oop the rest of the week. Kyrie and Luka putting on a show. All love for Kyrie after his return to Brooklyn tonight. One of the few players that I feel like NBA players would want to sit course side and watch. Jamal, to see this kind of performance from him, what does that do for you? It was expected. Like, Kyrie is must-see TV. The thing about him is you know he's gonna put on a show. He was emotional, but he controlled his emotions. And if you watch how he got to his spots, he's dancing every single time. He's getting to his spots. He's playing like he's 6'7 when he actually does his finishes and when he's 
shooting over the top of people. And right here, the thing when you're guarding Kyrie, I didn't have the, the luxury of guarding him too much. When you're guarding him, you're not worried about him scoring. You don't want to be embarrassed because in the social media area, you'll see it everywhere. And he's just, Kyrie's a joy to watch play. He's a joy to watch to compete against. And he's one of the special ones. There's seemingly this time limit that we give to young stars. Oh, you have so much promise year two. Oh, you have so much promise. Then you get to year seven. It's when are you going to win? Where are we with Luca right now? I think we're right at the beginning of that expectation. Um, I think Luca surprised a lot of people by leading, leading the Mavs to the Western Conference Finals in the manner that he did, being able to defeat Phoenix and get there. I don't think it's a question of whether this guy can score. I don't think it's a question of whether he can facilitate. I think it's a question of whether Dallas can continue to play this style of basketball and be successful. And I think in the next two or three years, people are going to get louder in wanting to know what the Mavs are going to do. But again, I think a big man, Lively's come in and played well, and he's upped his <clears> level <throat> of play because of Luka. I think if they're able to get that piece in, I mean, Luka in the pick and roll is pick your poison. Right. Uh, he's going to make you choose wrong every time. Very excited for Mavericks Knicks on Thursday. Kyrie did take the podium after the game to address his tenure in Brooklyn. I, I want your take on it, so let's take a listen. While I was here, I've learned a lot of lessons. Uh, I've made my peace again, like I said, and I just want to move forward. You know, things could have changed, and we look back at the past, and you have 2020 vision. This could have gone right if this would have happened. If I didn't get injured versus the Bucks, do I get? Do I still ask for a trade? If Katie's foot wasn't on the three-point line, are we talking about a different legacy here? If James doesn't ask for a trade, all of the woulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Hopefully, after this night, we can just put that to rest and just move forward, and I can look forward to the rest of my career. So he looks back and says, if Katie hits that three, are we a, a different type of team? If I don't get hurt, what's your take on him trying to end the whole discussion about his tenure with the Nets? I mean, you know, he's always going to be asked about it, but all of us as players have a what if I, I should have, how come I? So, I mean, he, he's right. Like, he, he's, he's with a different team. He, he's, he's with a different organization. You don't actually want to hear that question when you come back. So I, I thought he did a great job of answering that question. But listen, we all have that. What if I shot like Steph Curry? Mm. What if I shot 70% from the free throw line? You going to go all the way to Steph Curry, What if I would have stayed Shaq? in Orlando? What if I would have stayed in Orlando? There's no in between. Have... You going to go all the way to Steph Curry, Shaq? Shaq? You ain't going to. Yeah. There's no in between. I, I, I think about things like that all the time, but it's not really something you should focus on. You, you can think about it and mention it, but it, like it's you know, time, to, time to move on. Gotcha.